All right, so welcome back to another uh, video. I know it's been a little bit, been on vacation, so on and so forth. Went on, rode some dirt bikes up in Georgia. Great time, not a lot going on. So finally getting around to doing something today. But today we're working on my, this is pretty much a project truck, I guess you could say, but this is a 97, 2500 Cummins, four wheel drive, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. What we're going to do is a pretty common problem, which is the factory lift pump or whatever. Some, anyway, when it gets to like quarter tank, it doesn't want to uh, suck any fuel. So what we're doing today is we're going to be adding a sump and we're going to be doing replacing this because the this truck came with an air dog when I bought it, but <clears throat> the return is in the line which I don't like. So what we're gonna do is drop this, get a new line, I have new hose for here. We're gonna drop the tank, going to clean out the tank, then we're gonna reroute the return line into the tank somewhere, and then we're gonna add this fuel sump right here. We're gonna put the fuel sump on, got some more fuel hose, this is for my filler neck, got a new filler neck. So that's what we're gonna accomplish today. And Anyone's interested, this came, bought this off Amazon, and anyone's interested in that. But seems, uh, seems, you know, it's a it's a billet part machine and everything, and it was actually like half the price as most, uh, most uh, bigger companies. It was like 75, 80 bucks or something like that. But anyway, um, that's what we're working on today. So we're gonna start, already took a couple screws out in here. Start by taking this off. And then we're gonna to get to draining the tank. All right. So real quick, I forgot one thing I forgot to mention is um, where the the tank neck right there. It it was leaking too. I don't know if it got cracked and whatever. Like I said, um, this truck I got. I mean, it had been kind of neglected some in uh, piece by piece doing stuff, engine work and also stuff like this. But anyway, we're gonna drop the tank to also fix that the neck right here where it hooks the tank. I put some JB Weld on it last time just to, you know, a little bit of reinforcement, but I think it needs some more, so we're gonna work on that as well too. But right now I'm just working on getting getting these off and then we can work. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and drill a hole back here. I'm gonna mount the sump in the very back because that's the truck is uh in the rear it's lower in the rear a little bit so kind of keep back here that'll keep it out of the way from catching on any kind of brush you know in the middle of the truck so it's gonna put it back here somewhere okay, so um i know that i could pop the uh feed line off the air dog and i could you know drain the fuel that way but for my lack of better judgment we're just gonna take here old uh 20 dollar drill pop a hole in it and just keep changing out the buckets till it's uh till it's empty. So be fun. Okay, so tank is uh, pretty much empty. That only took like uh, 20 minutes, but oh well. All I can say now is it's gonna be worse filling it up than it was draining it. But anyway, now this tank has just has two bolts. There's one here on this, um, right by the drive shaft, one there, and then one right here. Those two come off, should be able to just drop the tank. Fuel level sensors there, and also a couple return lines. So once I get that down, I can uh, I can check check that.
so now the fuel tank is the uh, cleanest thing on the truck it's actually not too bad on the insiders I mean just normal normal stuff but not too bad but let me tell you another thing so this was cracked which I tried to fix which I really couldn't do um, when it was on the truck but we'll get some JB Weld to fix that now try to anyway but this thing this was the feed this thing was just cobbled on just epoxied on everything I found on this truck has just been one big nightmare so that's all same thing with this the factory sending unit they modified it put some random screws in it they're falling off doesn't really matter we just need it for the for the fuel fuel level that's all we're gonna use it for but this was the feed this had a tube on the in, inside of it we're gonna get rid of that like I said because we're running the, the sump now but need to figure out I don't know if I'm gonna have I don't know what this is how it's connected I might have to go get someone a different fitting for this some kind of plug that off I'm not sure yet but we're gonna work on cleaning this sand it up put some JB weld on there try to get this monstrosity out cleaned up and we can see what we can do from there all right so this is what they had shoved down in the tank was this hogged out a hole shoved it in there put a bunch of goop around it I'm gonna run to the store now get something or I might try to do this real quick but anyway I need to need to run the store and just get see if I can get like a bulkhead like a screw-in type bulkhead for the inside um, before we keep uh, going forward here because this this will be my return from the air dog and then the sump will be for the fuel sump obviously or the I don't know what I'm saying but anyway need to go to the store and get something so I'll be back when we get something else So, just got back from the store, had a bite to eat, and there's not much in town where we're at, so there's a couple places of my daughter's on. Thought maybe eh, I'll stick a grommet in there and you know I can reuse this. But <clears throat> found something a little bit better. I got this bulkhead fitting here, like for just water type whatever. But anyway, it's got a couple couple rubber gaskets in it. <clears throat> and I got this 90. I might have an AN90. That I can use for this. I gotta look around in my in the box I got. But anyway, that way I can drill this, just drill out this hole a little bigger. And I can sandwich it together. It'll be a lot better than what they had in there. And JB Weld looks like doing good. I think that'll be fine right there. So that's done. Now I just gotta work on work on this, and then work on getting the the sump on the bottom. this going kind of angled so it can run out the side to the air dog of the frame but if you didn't see in the video um, there's a piece you fish in the bottom this tightens up to that there's a no ring sandwich on the outside of the tank 
and then this here holds the inside you uh, stick a screwdriver allen key whatever in that to hold it in place while you tighten here um, there really wasn't any torque specs I just the long allens they gave me I just tightened it up pretty good and uh, thread tape the uh, allen there this can also be a drain but it's um, plug that hole up put some uh, tape on the half inch push lock so we are just about ready to throw this back in the truck all right so i root around in my uh, an box i don't have a um a half inch mpt to an so this will work for now i'll order something in the future it'll be better but anyway that'll work for now bulkhead that thing is that ain't going anywhere it's tight <clears throat> Got this kind of cleaned up, put back in. These are our factory returns from our fuel pump, obviously for the um, level sensor. JB well looks good. <clears throat> the sump looks good. Tank is mostly clean. Probably the cleanest thing on the whole truck now. But <clears throat> anyway, it's time to get this thing fished back under and hooked back up. And Okay, so I was going to wrap up this video right here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. Maybe this helped some of you guys, maybe it didn't, don't know. But uh, more to come with this truck. Um, my plans with this are to completely strip it down and do some cool stuff to it. So uh, it's going to be a while in the making, but eventually that's going to happen to this. Um, but all right. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this video right here. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Videos might not be, you know, every week, every other week, but I'm still here. I'm still making videos. So thanks to you. Thanks to those that are watching. Stay tuned for more. See you.